Good morning, I'm Sarah, the Real Simple Mama. We celebrated Earth Day and now we're out here with some scrambled eggs and I'm going to talk to you in this five minute chicken tip video about what is feather picking. So good morning. I'm gonna talk quickly and try to keep this at five minutes. And I apologize for those of you who saw the first rendition of this video. I have no idea why it got cut off before the end. So I apologize. Thanks for being patient and for letting me know. So feather picking is a condition. Um, I've had chickens for six years and this is my first time dealing with it. It's a really annoying condition. There's a couple of reasons why it might happen, but first let's talk about what it is. Feather picking is when they're in your backyard flock, there is usually just one chicken who is picking feathers off of other chickens. And you can tell because chickens will have a bald spot. I have two hens, my all gray hen, my all black hen. Lavender here on your right and then Lenore in the middle. They've got bald spots on their throats, like on their neck underneath um, their wattles. And then Lavender also has a bald spot under her vent. Chickens, I mean, obviously my girls, they can't pick feathers off of their own throat. So they're not the ones doing it. The one who's doing it is Tater Tot, the blonde on your left. So feather picking can be caused from a couple of different reasons. Number one, a, a chicken may have a nutrient deficiency and they're trying to get um, calcium or lysine or whatever it is that they're that they're missing they're trying to get it from eating other feathers in this case though like in my case for example it's not caused by nutrient deficiency it's just a behavioral thing um, and it can be sort of like a compulsion it can be like a bullying thing but again the way you can tell is that one or more chickens is got like random little bald spots and it'll usually be on the throat like my girls have, we're <laughs> chasing after tomatoes. Um, it could be around the vent area or it could be on the back. So how do you know that that's what it is? Um, if you haven't seen a video about molting, I'll show you molting right here. Molting is a normal thing that happens with chickens once a year. Um, you know, once feathers grow out to their full size, they don't keep growing like our fingernails do. They stop at a certain point, feathers do. So molting is where a chicken's body is going to shed all of, you know, a, a decent amount of those grown feathers and they're going to grow some new ones. Molting usually affects a chicken pretty evenly around their body. So you don't end up with just one bald zone. It'll be like, you know, you can tell. The other thing with molting is you'll end up, a lot of times your chickens will all molt around the same time and you'll come out and look in your coop or look in your run and it looks like there's been a huge pillow fight. So with feather picking, I noticed it was just two girls who are, who are the victims, two girls who are exhibiting the symptoms. And the one who's doing it, the perpetrator, I've caught her doing it multiple times and she's not missing any feathers. So it's not a compulsion that she's doing to herself. She's picking at the two hens who are below her. Now you'll notice also really quickly, I only have five hens now. I did get rid of one who was just a stubborn broody and I didn't have time and I don't want her to get too hot. And then Carmen Hindiego was gone because she was midway up the pecking order and was bullying a couple of the new girls. I thought that the bullying and the stress and all of that stuff would be gone with her gone, but Tater Tot, the blonde, has now taken up doing that. So that's what feather picking is, what it looks like. What can you do about it? I think you need to kind of look at your flock and see, okay, do I, is this happening because there's a nutrient missing? Do they need more protein, more calcium, more lysine? What, what can I do? Um, you can see their pool. I know it looks disgusting. That's because they have a rooster booster in it, which is like a yellow, it's almost like a Gatorade, like an electrolyte powder. So that's why their water looks so disgusting. Um, so it's either a nutrient deficiency and it's just affecting one chicken and that's how they're trying to get those missing nutrients by pecking and picking and eating at the feathers. Or like I said, it's a behavioral thing. In my case, I know it's behavioral. I've sat out here and I've watched them. My chickens get grit and they get um, calcium in oyster shell. They get um, a layer food that I trust that has balanced nutrition. It checks all the boxes of what it needs. They get healthy treats from me. Um, and so Tater Tot's doing it as, um, I don't know if it's like a post-stress response or she's trying to reshuffle the pecking order, who knows. Um, but she's exactly middle in the pecking order. So what you can do about it, um, you can certainly spray the chickens who are the victims. You don't want there to be like bloody looking flesh. So I'm gonna spray them with vetericin which is sort of like chicken hydrogen peroxide. It's diluted so it doesn't hurt their skin. You can spray them with blue coat or you can put hen saddles on them. Um, I have a video here where you can look. 
you can for the victims, you know, be sure that you're giving them maybe a boost of feather fixer or some extra protein to help their bodies recuperate. I'm looking to either isolate tater tot. And when you isolate or quarantine a bird, not because of illness, but because they're being a jerk, um, you need to do it for at least three days three days and nights you don't let them out for playtime you don't let them go back together at night when they sleep like they need to stay locked up um i have a coop that i'm going to try to set up to lock her up in and if not then i'm honestly going to rehome her it's getting hot here in south texas um our family life is changing our schedules and stuff and i don't want her to burn up in a like in a coop by herself basically so the easiest thing to do is like I said, you know, you can also move things around in the chicken coop, you know, give them piles of leaves or buy them a couple bags of dirt, spread treats out all over the place for them to look for, try to keep the bully distracted. But if you feel in your heart, like, I don't think it's a nutrition deficiency. I think everybody's fine. Eggshells are good. Nobody looks like they're, you know, they're dealing with a disease or anything like that. Then it's a behavioral thing and you need to look at it from that angle. So I'm here. Here's my email address. I've, um, you're welcome to put down comments and questions below. Again, I've been a chicken tender for six years. This is the first time I'm dealing with it, but it's really annoying. And these poor girls have had such a rough couple of years with me trying to recuperate them and everything. They don't need some punk pulling out their feathers. So one way or another, we will solve this, but thanks for watching.